Good evening, guys. This is M. Cheney for Hi-Fi in the Low Light. Tonight, we're going to take a look at the Cayenne N3. The Cayenne N3 is an entry-level digital audio player. It's retailing right now for $150. I'm really, really excited to have this product. The reason being is I've been living with my Hi-Fi Men HM601 for four years now. I feel that it's the standard for how good an entry-level player can sound, but it is seven years old. So a lot has changed within that time. Tonight, we're going to take a look at five things. The build quality of each, the user interface for each, the functionality of each, battery life for each, and sound quality of each of these. So to start with build quality, I'm going to be blunt. I like the Cayenne N3 more so than the HM601. The biggest reason is going to be how clean all of the edges are. Everything is really smooth, nice. The back's got a little bit of a texture to it. The buttons are all a little more flush. They don't pop out as much. They feel good. It's also smaller. The HM601 is bigger. The buttons are easier to use, but they're kind of clunky. You know, some things work, some things don't. I never have too much of an issue with it, but it shows its age. Now, these are where the two differ. The Cayenne has digital volume control. The HM601 has a little analog wheel that you scroll. The 601 also has both a line and a headphone out versus the Cayenne, which uses a single port for each of them. But in terms of overall build, the smaller, cleaner Cayenne N3 is definitely the better product in my opinion. Just to be upfront, the Cayenne N3 uses their own uh, in-house developed graphic interface. Rockbox is open source software. It is not native to the HM601. It is aftermarket. It's free and it's entirely text-based. There are some pictures, but it's all text menus. That being said, I like the functionality of Rockbox. Rockbox has more options, gives me more control, it's all inclusive. Anything that you want to change, you can. The bigger feature, the better feature about Rockbox is that with that level of control over the software, you also have that level of control with digital sound processing. The EQ is really a winner. This EQ includes the decibels that you increase, the hertz at which you increase, but also the Q settings. This is how severe, well, how sharp or how dull the curve is. When you know how to use this, you can get a much better equalization overall. It is a little weird though, I have to toggle my power button to go back out. But for the most part, lots of options, dozens and dozens and dozens of menus, just not an EQ, but I have dithering, crossfeed, time stretch, compressor, channel configurations, which was helpful when I was flying and my ears would pop. I can switch the volume levels. Anything you want to do, you can do it. Not just in sound, it's for the playback, I can fast forward, replay gain, auto, everything, it's whole nine yards. The general settings, again, I can change the file view, how the system works, the display, the language. I have not gotten voice options to work. There are some themes that I don't really mess around with, and you can even manage the actual configuration files themselves. Basic operation, I start from now playing, it's up in back and I'm back where I was files very basic just file browser it does let me play by folder I can press and hold get an option to shove it into the playlist I can create playlists on ease overall I like it um, it's easy to use and it gives me the control that I want now it's not user-friendly the Cayenne N3 is user-friendly oh powered off Let's watch the stouter up here. Let's check this out. Never be the same again. All right, the basic operation's a little bit different. You slide from that little white bar down, takes you left, other side, takes you right. So pretty cool. It's prettier. There are more pictures. There are more buttons. Pulls the picture up right away. I can go back. Takes a couple extra steps, but here we are. 
The EQ is definitely more user friendly. It's not as, let's see, two sets of settings. Music settings make it easier to find. More user friendly, more of what you're used to. Not as, um, not as much control, but not as difficult or, or intimidating. I like that I've got the digital filters as well. But between the two, Rockbox is gonna give you the control. The native software to the N3 is easy to use. So for me, I prefer the control, but you know, for the mass consumer, they're gonna like the pictures. They're gonna like something that is easier and more friendly. So it's kind of split. Rockbox 601, phenomenal control, but it's intimidating versus the N3, which is very easy to use, very intuitive. Depends on what you want, but both are excellent. For functionality, it is hands down landslide victory, total knockout, the Cayenne N3. The HM601 is a digital audio player. That's it. You put music on the SD card, you play it, you listen through headphones, that's all it does. Zilch. The nice thing with the functionality is it's simpler, right? So easy a caveman could do it. Volume is up and down, line out, headphone out, st basic, straightforward. I'm a caveman, that's why I like it so much. The N3 is a little more complicated. First of all, the Bluetooth setting is really cool. I can connect my phone to the Cayenne N3 through Bluetooth. When I do that, obviously turn it on. Shows me a list of devices. There's my buddy's phone, my phone, phone of the guy that had this before me. It acts as a DAC and amp for your device. So when I play music from my phone, it's processed by the N3. I usually max the volume on the N3 and then adjust it through my cell phone. What I like about that is there are no cords. Nothing plugged into my phone, nothing running out. It's completely hands-free. I keep the N3 in my pocket someplace else. I don't have to touch it. I can control my music straight from my phone without having a cable in my way. Very, very, very convenient. The other thing that it does You have an option to use it as a USB DAC. USB DAC. USB. Very useful. I did not get a chance to plug it in and listen to the DAC. The DAC is going to sound similar, well, exactly the same as the internal processing does. Same quality of sound, but the feature is nice. Straightforward. Plug it in, recognizes it. Headphone out is your sound. You can do a line it if you need to. For $150, that's phenomenal. Bluetooth control for my cell phone device. USB DAC for my computer. If I don't want to use either of those devices, I have a graphic interface to use. You know, whereas previously I would have to purchase, well, I'll show it to you guys, this bad boy. This is the Bayringer UCA202, right? $30. This is $125 used, right? $155 for both of those products. Or 150 for one that does everything. I have Spadiff out on here well, so if I want to run it into a nicer DAC, I can. It's it's a digital Swiss army knife. This is the change that seven years brings. More functionality, more features, right? There's not two spots, there's one. You want to run that as a line out? Back, over, over, music. Yeah, headphone, yes, line out, it even warns me. Go back to headphone mode, it changes it. Hands down, the N3 wins by a landslide. So much more functionality, so much more. So if you're on the fence and you're watching this review and you don't know if you want it or if you need it, get it. DAC for your PC. DAC for your cell phone, standalone amplifier, digital audio converter by itself. Plug headphones in and listen. No matter what you own, hook it up to the N3 and listen.
Guys, I want to wrap this up by talking about the battery life and the sound quality. The battery life on the HM601 is unbeatable. Unbeatable. This lasts me anywhere from 20 to 25 hours. That means I charge it every three weeks. On the flip side, the N3 lasts me anywhere from eight to nine hours. I charge it about every three days. I've charged it twice since I've had it. Moving on to sound quality, they're different. The HM601 has good smoothness. It's very real. The timber is very accurate. Sounds very real to life. It has good width, good depth for the price. It's not super holographic. It's not super 3D, but it does well. It adds a little bit of depth to the music, resolves a good bit of width. It does a great job with transients. That means pulling out those small details in the instrument and presenting them alongside of obviously, you know, the attack, the decay, but it's the sustain and the release that the 601 does better. On the flip side, the N3 is more detailed. Little things stand out. A breath before somebody sings is more obvious. Scratching noises are more obvious. If somebody flips a page, it's more obvious. All of the little details that make music interesting come out more clearly on the N3. The N3 also has some filters. The filters do change how it sounds. I like short delay. Short delay is slower than sharp, but faster than slow. It kind of sits in the middle. Sharpness gives you the best clarity, but it sounds fake and digital. Slow gives you a thicker, gives you a thicker, heavier, warmer sound, but it lacks in clarity. Short delay was the sweet spot for me. With the line out, it stays the same. The TDA DAC chip in the HM601 keeps its characteristics in the line out. It has, again, good width within the price range, good depth. It's got good warmth, good weight, a good heavy sound. Going back to the AK chip in the N3, clarity, it's dynamic. It goes from quiet to loud very quickly, but it lacks a little bit of that realism. Ultimately, guys, I want to thank you for watching today. I also want to thank Cayenne for giving me the chance to demo both of these. I'm going to recommend that if you don't own anything, if you want something that does it all, you want the DAC for your PC, you want the DAC for your phone, you want a music player that stands alone, the N3 is a good place to start. It does everything and it does everything well. On the flip side, the HM601 is the master of one. This is the jack of all. The master of one is going to be good for people who have a collection. I use it to go to the gym. I take it with me. I plug in a pair of headphones. If I drop it, doesn't matter. If I, I, it died on me for a week, I wasn't really super concerned because it's, you know, it's, it's not essential for me. That's what the 601 does. It's non-essential, but it's enjoyable. The N3 buy it new. It's 150. You've got Cayenne's warranty. It's going to be something that's going to last you. Something that is essential to your daily music routine. Something that is essential to your, you know, portable music solution. All right. This is the product you want. Guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and continue to follow me as I talk about new gear, talk about old gear, and ultimately share my experiences in the headphone amplifier and audio player field. Remember to like the video and check me out next week for another hi-fi highlight in low light.